So before we jump into today's math problem, let's take a brief moment to relax and focus on our breathing and briefly meditate. So wherever you are, sit up tall with your feet planted firmly on the ground and your hands resting on your thighs. They can be either palms facing up or palms facing down and gently close your eyes. Inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale slowly also through your nose. On the next deep inhale through your nose, see if you can observe the temperature of the air as it's entering your body does it feel a little cool? And as you exhale slowly through your nose, what do you observe about the temperature of the breath? Does it seem a little warmer? On the next deep inhale, send the breath to any parts of your body that may be feeling tense. Might be your shoulders, your neck, your hips. And as you exhale slowly through your nose, feel that tension release as your spine remains nice and tall. Let's take one last deep inhale through the nose, filling your lungs. You may feel your abdomen expanding, relax your shoulders. And at the top, hold your breath for a few seconds. And then exhale through your nose as slowly as you can savoring that breath, feeling a sense of calm and relaxation and peace. And whenever you're ready, gently open your eyes. This multiple choice problem from the College Board comes from section three of the SAT test, which does not allow calculators. And the problem says, which ordered pair, x, y, satisfies the system of equations shown above? So see what you can do with this. Give it a shot. It's all right if you're not sure how to approach it. You can even just take a guess. And in about a minute, we'll have a look at it together. <laughs> Take a look at this. We have a system of equations, and if this were a math problem in your regular math class, you might go ahead and solve that system by combining the equations or solving it through substitution. And you actually see here that they're giving us x as equal to y minus 3. So I might take y minus 3 and substitute it in for x in the second equation and solve for y and then go ahead and plug that value in for y in the first equation to find x. But if you did that, you would see pretty quickly that that process 
would likely take longer than the average of little more than one minute that is allotted for each problem on the SAT math test. So this is a good problem that reminds us that there are easier ways. So notice that not only do we have the system of equations, but because it's a multiple choice question, they're giving us four candidate answers. And whichever is the correct answer, it will have the X and Y value that makes both of these equations true. So as an easy approach, let's use that to our advantage by testing the answers. So let's look at the answer choices and ask ourselves, which would be pretty easy to test? Well, I really like working with zeros because those are really fast computationally when I substitute the zero in for variables. And I really like it when X is equal to zero. So I'm gonna start by testing answer choice B. So answer choice B says that X is equal to zero and Y is equal to three. So let's test that out and see if that makes the first equation true. So if X is equal to zero, I would have X on the left on the right, I would have three minus three. And zero does equal zero, so that makes the first equation true. Now let's test zero three in the second equation. I would have zero over two plus two times three, and I wanna know if that equals six. Well, that ends up being 6 on the left, 2 times 3, and that does in fact equal 6. So that means that 0, 3 makes the second equation true. So what do you know? We very quickly have determined that 0, 3 works in both equations. So answer B is the correct solution. Now you can test the other three answers and you can see that in fact they won't make both equations true. But this problem is a good illustration that a strategy of just testing answer choices can quickly lead to the answer. I hope you enjoyed seeing this strategy. If you have any questions or any suggestions or requests, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. I always love hearing your guys' thoughts. If you subscribe to this YouTube channel, you'll be notified of new videos as they get posted. And I enjoyed working together. I look forward to seeing you next time.